In this video guys, you are becoming all forms of Itachi Uchiha from Naruto in Shinobi Life 2 Roblox. To do this, first of all, we need to obtain Itachi Uchiha's moveset. Once we've done that, we need to level up to level 500 so we can fight Orochimaru. And then after that, we need to reach level 800 to be able to unlock our full Susanoo. And then at the end of the video, after we reach max level, we're going to be fighting Sasuke Uchiha to see who truly is the strongest brother. Alright guys, so we have the two bloodlines that we need. We have the Bankai Akuma and we also have the Bankai Inferno and for the elements we've decided to go just for fire because to be honest in the anime Itachi does not use anything but fire so now we're just gonna get straight into Shinobi Life 2 waste zero time and enter the blaze village all right so we are in shinobi life and the first thing that we're going to do as per usual is we're going to start off by doing the weaker missions first and then progress to the better and stronger missions like the green scroll so first of all just to get our level up, we're level 1 right now, so we're going to do this mission here. Can you deliver some groceries for me? We might as well get some very, very easy XP, and we just have to deliver it to three houses. All right, that's the first house done. Two more to go. All right, second one done, and the last one over there. All right, and that is finished. That should just get us to like a le around level 30-ish, which should be very, very good. All right, yeah, that actually got us perfectly to level 30, which is amazing. And let's check out the blue scroll missions. These ones are usually like the worst ones, but we might find a good one. Troublemakers have been doing graffiti. Can you clean it up? Okay, we have to clean up two of the graffiti. Okay, that's actually not bad at all. Okay, so we just got to go to that one over there. All right, okay, so it's the YouTube logo. Okay, so we just have to graffiti that. All right, and the last and final one. Okay, that was two. That was actually fairly, fairly easy. And we should get to, okay, level 42. I want to check one thing actually, if we go on Bloodline and press equip, I'm pretty sure for the Akumas, they're usually at level 50 if I'm not mistaken, which is perfect, and then the Bankai Akuma, no the Bankai Akuma, this one here, the Bankai Inferno is level 600, which is pretty pretty high, but for the Akuma, it's level thingy, which is very very good, because that means we can literally just log grind for like 2 minutes maximum, like 2-3 minutes, and we should be getting to level 50, and with that we can actually straight away start doing green scroll missions, which is amazing, it's going to get our levels all the way up, so yeah, we're just going to do the literally three minutes of log grinding and yeah i'll catch you guys once our bloodline is level 50 all right and just like that we literally managed to get to level 50 in literally two minutes which means now we can equip our mode and yep okay so we can actually do like green score mission straight away akuma mode i'm actually i'm i've not i don't actually remember the c-spec of bankai akuma i'm hoping it's not genjutsu but to be honest it is itachi so i'm guessing it is going to be because again just to fighting uh like green score missions is basically kind of useless but i'm hoping it isn't so i'm just gonna let's see let's see if it is or not okay so who do you have to kill now taijutsu students okay taijutsu students is actually not that bad at all because even if we don't have a jutsu we can just like hit them with our hands too all right okay let's see what these guys have in store for me all right okay just gonna hit them with this all right killed already one of them okay so it, it's like kind of a genjutsu but at the same time it isn't which is really really good it attacks only one person but that is so still very 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 good we managed to literally like kill them in like less than 30 seconds and how many levels is that going to give us okay it gives 170,000 xp which is not bad at all and right now we're level okay level level 67 so it gives us 20 levels not bad not bad not too shabby all right okay a group of corrupt ember ninjas are spotted on the outskirts can you please take care of it okay perfect so we're just gonna go and take care of them to kill four of these guys okay to be honest if we're talking about that like, anime Itachi was kind of one of these corrupt ember ninjas. He basically left the village and stuff. So we're basically, we could be basically potentially killing that Akatsuki at this point. All right, okay, so we're just gonna go boom. All right, there we go. We killed one of them. You know what? Have we got enough to, okay, we've got enough to unlock this. Okay, we don't have enough to unlock that. So I'm just gonna put this in R and hit them with the fireball that's killed another one of these guys. These guys are not attacking me. It's just like, why are none of them attacking me? Q spec. Okay, this does not have a Q spec. And I accidentally hit this guy here. All right, hit him with this. And then hit them with this. Okay, one combo basically kills every single one of them. All right, that's perfect. Okay. All right, okay. These guys are kind of weak to us. All right, so our first main goal is to reach level 500 so we can fight Orochimaru. To be honest, in the anime, like, Itachi didn't really fight that many people. Like, the only, like, really good fight he had was against Sasuke, which we are going to fight Sasuke at the end of the video once we are max level. However, our first main goal is to fight Orochimaru. To be honest, he didn't really fight Orochimaru, but he, it was, like, kind of like a fight. But yeah, we're going to have that as one of the segments. And then the last segment is going to be Sasuke. So our main goal right now is to reach level 500 and potentially unlock our, like, maybe one of our moves or two of our moves. 
and I think the second form of Bankai, or the se second or third form of Bankai Akuma, and then of course the fourth form is after we get level fi 500 and train a little bit so we can fight the Susano and unlock the fourth mode and then we can fight Sasuke after that but for now our main goal is to reach level 500 so we are level 81 right now we're gonna do defeat Taijutsu students we need to kill two of these guys so I'm just gonna hit one of them I think that should kill one of them why is, why is my c-spec not working or well, my c-spec doesn't want to work for some reason so we're just gonna leave that we're just gonna hit them with this Okay, my C-Spec for some reason still doesn't want to work. Alright, so I'm just going to hit them with this. And that is done. But yeah, guys, now we're going to be doing a training arc where we're going to be doing as many green scroll missions as possible until we do get to level 500 so we can actually fight Orochimaru. So yeah, I'm just going to get as powerful as possible. And yeah, I'll so yeah, I'll catch you guys at level 500 after our training arc. Alright guys, so training arc is over, we've managed to get to level 500 and now we are approaching Orochimaru, we're gonna summon him in, he is called Kabu Cobra, which basically is Orochimaru, that's literally his bloodline. Actually before we summon him in, we need to wait for our MD to go all the way up because this guy is gonna be kind of challenging to kill. You know what, whilst we're at it, we've got our bloodline to level 581, our main one, and we can basically unlock these two moves here, which we are gonna do, that's left us with barely any cash though, but yeah, we've unlocked these two moves here. And now I think we've got full MD, we're just going to mode up and we can also mode up to form 2 which we have unlocked luckily. And yeah, form 2 is basically like the half Susano. Okay, there we go, okay. I thought it was bugging, but yeah, half... Okay, when we hit it's half Susano, okay. When, when we block it's normal Susano, it's like the uh, Susano ribcage. And then when we hit it's half Susano and we're going to fight Cobra. Cobra. We're going to spawn him in and absolutely obliterate him. In the show, Itachi basically just like, well, no diff this guy, he just absolutely destroyed him. Gonna hit him with this, hit him with some of this, Q-Spec, right, there's no Q-Spec to this unfortunately, but there is a good C-Spec, if I go here, this is a C-Spec, if it's gonna let me use it, there we go, boom, and it hits him for a good amount too, which is amazing, alright, he spawned in his, okay, he spawned in his snakes, which should not be good, it's not good for us at all, okay, snakes do a decent amount of damage to us, I do not like that at all, gonna hit him with this, Bro, if you want, when he like M1s us, we can basically not, we can't get any combo off at, at him, which is really, really annoying. But yeah, we're going to hit him with some of this, with some M1s. Our M1s are going to carry us a lot here. Hit him with, okay, oh, he spawned in his snake again, which is not great. We have to escape. All right, for some, for some reason, someone else is attacking Orochimaru at the same time. I thought he's got the Madara thing here, which is not ideal for us. Okay, so he's probably going to die before we even get to him. So we're going to have to hit him with some of our moves here. Hit him with this move. Hit him with our G move. Okay, hit him with this. There we go. Eat him up. Okay. Alright, and then hit him with the C-Spec. Okay, boom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And just like that, Orochimaru slash Kabu Kobra, if you want to call him, he is dead. Okay, that was fairly, fairly easy. Alright, and is that going to get us the quest? How much is that? How much XP is that going to give us? Okay, 3.6 million is really, really good. Okay, that game does how many levels? Okay, 19 levels, not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, the thing is, after we've killed our guy Orochimaru, we need to unlock full, full Susano. And to unlock full Susano, we have to kill the Susano boss. But before we do that, we need our Bankai Akuma to be level 800. 
and then also that's basically and then we have to kill the Susano boss get the Susano boss drop and then we can unlock our Bankai full form basically which is really really essential so all I'm gonna do guys now is just gonna keep on grinding until we eventually get our Bankai to level 800 maybe to even level 1000 and then after that I will see you guys so we can actually fight this Susano boss and get the Susano boss drop Alright guys, so we've managed to get to level 851, which means now we're gonna go and fight the Susano boss. It's basically the Itachi boss, however, he has like a Susano that spawns with him. We don't have to kill the Itachi boss, but we have to kill the Susano boss to get the Susano boss drop. So yeah, we've managed to get basically to max level with our Bankai, so we can basically use form 3 which is the basically which is basically a cannon which this is like the final form that Itachi used in the anime however we're gonna go for the full Susano form because it just it looks so so amazing and I'm pretty certain that scroll over there is Bankai Akuma if I'm not mistaken so we're gonna we're gonna basically go and defeat him we're gonna we're, we're just gonna have to like load the Susano far away by himself so we can defeat him way way easier all right so okay Bankai Akuma do you want to fight Bankai Akuma yes I do and I just want the Susano to come by itself. If I can just hit the Susano. Yes, perfect. All right, the Susano's coming by itself. And that's basically it finished. Okay, boom. Hit him with this. Hit him with all of our fire moves. All right, okay. He's got 800,000 damage, 800,000 HP. And I think it's not that much actually because we can just defeat it with our moves. Hit it with some of our moves here. The C-Spec is exactly the same as normal. But like, we also have a Q-Spec for this. I don't think it's going to work on the Susano though, unfortunately, because it's not like a real player. But the C-Spec is actually like, the Q-Spec is actually really, really cool. You teleport behind the player and it does like a decent amount of damage. And we basically already killed the Susano. We're just going to hit them with this move that looks like Mira. And then, okay, let me just hit him with this. Open oh, never mind. Okay, yo, he's actually do yo, I just realized he's doing damage to us. Okay, and our MD is about to run out too. Oh my god, okay. Gonna hit him with B. When does the Susano like, when does it like, thingy rest? Because I'm pretty certain the Susano is meant to rest. Okay, we're just going to hit him with just a, a few M1s. Okay, oh yeah, we've respawned the clone of our Itachi. Yeah, that was so cool. Okay, alright. And we just press it and there we go. Unlocked the Bankai Spirit. And if we just basically put, press on C4, our Form 4 unlocks and we have the Susano. Look at this. Don't, you cannot tell me this isn't the coolest Susano form you've ever seen in your life. The design on it is so 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 good but to be honest we do not need to like fight Bankai Akuma at all so I'm just gonna cancel the quest yeah you cannot tell me this does not look so 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 clean bro look at the M1s the M1s the best thing is that M1s bro fighting bosses with the full Susano is a game changer because they barely can hit you and you can just like combo them infinitely and then the Q spec it's like the swings okay it's actually so so cool I really this is probably like my favorite looking Susano that and Madara Susano in the game they look so so clean but yeah now guys we are level 852 we've unlocked the full Susano that all that's left now is to reach max level so we can actually go and fight Sasuke so all I'm gonna do guys now is just gonna keep on doing some green scroll missions some boss missions and I'm just gonna do kind of like a time skip and I'm, I'll see you guys in Shindai Valley us against Sasuke I'll see you guys then all right guys so we finally re reached max level and we've got Sasuke over there in the other place and now we're going to be fighting him for the first round it's basically best out of three for the first round, I'm just going to be using just the third or fourth form of Susano and then I'm going to be using for the second round I'm going to be using Bankai Inferno I've not used this yet so I'm super excited to use it and then for the last one I'm going to be using full Bankai full Bankai Susano Awakening so yeah we're just gonna wait a second until our MD gets to full okay this guy's already prepared but yeah we need to wait our MD to get to full and then we can fight him okay I think this moveset should be good I'm hoping this moveset is good so I'm just gonna go like this and go into my third form our basically our cannon form and we're just gonna start off the fight straight away hit him with uh, a fireball that we miss okay this fireball doesn't miss hit him with this Okay, hit him with the Q-Spec. This the, like, the Q-Spec is actually decent, but okay. Oh my god, he's got us in a combo. Yo, curse Max Sasuke. Yo, okay, okay, relax, bro. Relax, relax, okay. Hit him with this. All right, get him in a thingy. Hit him with some of these moves. Hit him with this. Amaterasu. Amaterasu is clean. Oh my god. Hit him with this move here. All right, okay. The, the Genja suits on Itachi are so, so, so good. Hit him with this move here. Okay, that Kirin. That Kirin kind of did a, a bit too much damage for us. Hit him with this. Okay, bro, he can even fly. Bro, suit like Sasuke has got some cool, cool modes in this game. Okay, I accidentally used that move here. All right, okay. Hit him with this. Oh, and he's got Zenal Thingy Chidori. Yeah, Sasuke has got some very, very, very cool moves in this game. Okay, I'm going to hit him with this fireball. Okay. 
Our fireballs need to kind of carry us here. Hit him with this. Boom. Okay, that's going to do a decent amount. Hit him with the Q-Spec. Okay, Q-Spec top up behind him. Okay, yo, yo, Sasuke is does damage. Oh my god, okay. Hit him with this move here. Alright, get him in a thingy. Hit him with this move here. Get 50k guaranteed. Bro, okay, yo, relax. Oh my god. Oh, 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 okay, 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 bro. Okay, relax. Oh, I think we're gonna die here 100%. Okay, gonna hit him with this. For some reason, I would think he barely does any damage. Barely, barely does any damage. Right, okay, we're gonna have to I think he mode up here. We're gonna use our chi. Alright, hit him with the dragon. Okay, I don't know if the dragons are gonna reach that far. Yep, they don't. Alright, that's that's unfortunate. Hit him with the B move, get him in a thingy. Alright, perfect. Hit him with this. Perfect. Alright, okay, we're gonna have done at least like 60, 70k there. Hit him with this. And perfect. Okay, we actually managed to kill. Okay, we managed to kill Sasuke on 130k HP, but I was really, really low. Okay, we killed him with our third form. Okay, to be honest, okay, I expected better from Sasuke, but yeah, okay, I think. Okay, 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 this surprised me. The Susano, bro, the Q spec is actually one of my favorites, especially when you can teleport be behind someone and you can basically get a combo of his Genjutsu moves that's so, so clean. It actually is that just like you basically you just can't do anything unless you block them right on time. You basically cannot do anything. So, yeah, okay, I'm actually pleased with those absolute not absolutely destroying sasuke but killing sasuke with our third form susano all right we are forming up form one i just realized bankai like this bankai inferno is basically a thingy it's a z-spec so we can basically kind of use them at the same time but md is probably gonna run out so so quickly hit him with this okay is it what's the q-spec on this okay the q-spec okay it's a close range q-spec all right okay i need to get used to this all right okay there's so many genjutsu moves all right perfect Okay, I, I really like this a lot, I can't lie. I like this so, so much. Hit him with this. Hit him with that. Alright, hit him with this. Okay, hit him with this. Alright, perfect. Alright, we managed to do a good, good amount of damage to Sasuke. We need to get close to him. I hit him with the E-Spec. Alright, okay, the E-Spec spawns in clones. Alright, that's perfect. Okay, it's like kind of like a Matirasu clones. Hit him with this. Okay, bro, I, li okay, I like this a lot so far. Okay, he's using his full form Bankai here, though. Alright, hit him with this. Hit him with this. Hit him with this. Okay, bro. Okay, okay, I'm actually doing so much damage. Just, okay, I really like this form. This form is so, so fun. Alright, hit him with this. Okay, we need to we need to kind of heal up a little bit. Not heal up, but we need to use our mode. Okay, escape that, escape that. Alright, okay, we kind of block. We basically did not block it. Oh my god, okay, that did so much damage. And he puts in a Shabak Tensei. Okay, this is not too great for us. Okay. Hit him with this. We have to hit him with this. Okay, put him in again just so. Okay, he's literally about to use his Chidori. Okay, oh, I just realized the M1s are so clean. Okay. Alright, okay, I need to use my M1s against this guy more. I need to get close to him though. Oh, okay, okay, he just got us in the Chidori. Okay, bro, he's comboing us so much. Alright, I need to get close to him. Hit him with that. Okay, that completely missed. Okay, the Q-Spec misses a lot. I can't lie. Hit him with this. Boom. Alright, do a decent amount of damage. Hit him with this too. Alright, perfect. Oh, and yep, I think we're going to probably die here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, we are very, 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 very low. And he's going to combo us with the thingy. Yep, okay, if this hits us... Oh my god, okay, I thought I survived that, but okay. It's 1-1. GG. Okay, okay, that was actually... It. Alright, I think it's that form, that Bankai Inferno form was so, so cool. It's just that Sasuke was a little bit too strong for us there, okay? It's 1-1. One, one. Winner takes all. Okay, this is, this is gonna get good. Alright, we are forming up. We're gonna be using our fourth form Bankai and also all the moves. Because Thingy is like a Z-Spec, we can basically use the Bankai Inferno moves and Bankai Akuma moves at the same time. So we're just gonna start off really, really quickly with this. Hit him with that. Okay, okay, bro. Oh my god, alright, alright. Okay, I need to get the right moves going. All right, okay. Oh, he completely missed that. If he didn't miss that, that would have done so much damage to us. Oh, and he doesn't miss that. Okay. All right, okay. I think I need to get the, the Genjutsu moves one after the other so I can like be able to combo him way, way better. I right, hit him with this move. Okay, that's... The, okay, the G move is uh, one of the moves. All right, okay. I'm gonna hit him with H. All right, hit him with this. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. Okay. All right, okay. Hit him with the Q spec. Well, key spec does decent amount of damage. Is, is there an e spec? Alright, there's no e spec. Alright, hit him with that. Okay, that completely missed. Hit him with the Genjutsu. But okay, he's way too far from my Genjutsu to even like reach him. Alright, hit him with G. 
perfect. All right. I don't know who hit who there. I can't lie. I think he hit me. Where is he? Where's he going? All right. Okay. Perfect. Hit him with some M1s. Hit him with this. Okay. Hit him with the thingy Matirasu. Okay. That Matirasu did a good amount of damage. Okay. We need to, we need to get a bit close to use our... Okay. I realized we can use our fire moves. I've completely forgot about them. Hit them with that. Hit him with Y. There we go. Oh, okay, that, yeah, he uses counter, alright, fair play. Hit with this. Okay, okay, got me in a key spec, alright, that's perfect. I don't even know where he is. Okay, he's there. Alright, okay, we were so far away from that. Oh, he just hit himself by accident. <laughs> he just hit himself by accident, alright. Okay, let me just hold all my chi up. And right, we need to get close to him now. Okay, we need to get a bit close. Where's, where's he running away, bro? You ain't running nowhere. Alright, hit him with T. Hit him with this. Okay, hit him with the C-Spec. I think the C-Spec kind of missed. Thing is, we have to be in our thingy. I'd rather be in my Susano farm for a long time because then he can't, like, use his Chidori properly. Hit him with this. Oh, never mind. I say that and he just uses it straight away. Hit him with this. Oh, how's a Susano in the Shibak Tensei, bro? How's, that, how's a Susano there, bro? Okay. How's, that, how's he managed that? All right, okay, we can escape. Hit him with the Genjutsu move. Hit him with this. Okay, hit him with this. Okay, bro, I'm doing damage. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, bro, bro, I kind of destroyed that guy. Okay, I kind of destroyed Sasuke. Oh my god. But yeah, that was actually super, super fun. Okay, with the full Bankai farm, I'm telling you guys, Bankai Akuma is such, such a good, it's just such a good bloodline. It's really, really cool, especially with Bankai Inferno. It's basically like, you can't really do anything with it, okay? Wow, it's such a cool, cool bloodline. Look at that suits in our model, bro. I can't get enough of it. But yeah, guys, that has been the video of me becoming all forms of Itachi Uchiha in Shinobi Life 2. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below what other Shinobi Life 2 videos you want me to do or any videos you want me to do. Make sure to comment that down below. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, guys. And peace out, guys. Peace out.